Hello Bits friends, in this video I want to show you how you can create this very simple tubular beadwork made with size 11 C bits and super duo bits. You can use this tubular beadwork, if it's long enough of course, <laughs> as a bracelet and you can end up the bracelet using some end caps. This is a size 12 and as you can see it fits perfectly on the tubular beadwork. If you don't know how you can then put a clasp on this kind of beadwork, there is a tutorial of mine and I will leave you the link in the information box under the video. In that tutorial you will see how you can put the end cap and how you can fix the end cap and how you can put a clasp using some nylon coated wire that pass through the tubular beadwork and some crimps. To create the beadwork you will need side 10 needles your favorite bead weaving thread, super duo beads and size 11 seed beads. Pick up a size 11 and carry the bead to the end of the thread. Then to fix the bead on the thread make a knot on the bead. In this way. Sew through the bead, then pick up one super duo bead and carry the bead to the end of the thread. Pick up another size 11 and sew through the free hole of the same super duo. Then sew also through the bead you were starting from in the same direction you were starting from, that's important. We need to place the size 11 seed beads on every side of the super duo bead. So now I'm going outside this size 11, going in this direction. I pick up another super duo bead and I carry the bead to the end of the thread. Again, I pick up one size 11 and I sew through the super duo bead and I also sew through the bead. I'm starting from going in the same direction I'm starting from. Before adding new beads, sew through the hole, this hole of the super duo bead, and of course, sew also through the size 11. At this point, we have to repeat the same steps. Pick up another super duo bead and carry the bead to the end of the thread. As you can see I was going outside this bead going in this direction. Now that the super duo is at the end of the thread I pick up another size 11 and I sew through the hole of the super duo, the free hole, and I sew through the bead I was starting from in the same direction. Before adding new beads, sew through the super duo and sew also through the last size 11. Now we need to close the working around. So, first of all, pick up a super duo and carry the bead to the end of the thread. Here we are. Then sew through the first size 11 we have put on the beadwork. And the direction is starting from the part, from the same part where we have the hole we pass through. You can see here the upper hole, if you watch in this way, the upper hole, and so I go from the top to the bottom with my needle. Here maybe you can watch better how I go in the same direction, from the top to the bottom, because I'm starting from the top hole of the super duo, it's important. Now that the beadwork is closed in a round, without adding any new bead, sew through the free hole of the last super duo, then sew through the size 11 on the side, going in the same direction you were starting from, and I also sew through the hole of the super duo because in this way I am ready to start a new round. So now we have 
four super duos on the beadwork and four size 11. The next step is very easy. Going outside from super duo as we did before. Pick up another one and sew through the next one. And repeat this step until the end of the round. Once the round is completed, go outside from the bottom hole of one of the new super duo of this new round. Pick up a size 11 and sew through the upper hole of the same super duo. Then pick up another size 11 and sew through the bottom hole of the same super duo. Because we need again to place the sides 11 on the side of every super duo. Before adding new beads, sew also through the next two super duo beads in this way. And going outside from the bottom hole of the next super duo. At this point, I pick up only one size 11 and I sew through the upper hole of the same super duo I'm starting from. Then sew through the size 11 in here, going toward the bottom, and sew through the bottom hole of the same super duo. Then again, before adding new beads, sew also through the next two super duo. Repeat the same steps. So pick up one size 11 and sew through the upper hole of the super duo you're starting from. Then sew through this size 11 in here, going toward the bottom. And sew through the bottom hole of the same super duo bead you were starting from. As we did before, before adding new beads, sew through the next two super duo beads. Now at this point we don't have to add some size 11 because they are already there. One is here and one is here. So I sew through this size 11 going from the bottom to the top. Then I sew through the upper hole of the super duo I was starting from. And then sew through the size 11 on the other side, going toward the bottom. Then, to be ready to start a new round, sew through the super duo, bottom hole of the super duo. Sew through the size 11, the next one, and sew through the upper hole of the next super duo bead. At this point, we have to repeat, we have to alternate these two rounds. The first round is picking up one super duo bead and sewing through the next one. And you have to repeat this step until the end of the round. Then once the round is completed, go outside from the bottom hole of one of the super duo of the last round. Pick up a side 11 and sew through the upper hole of the same super duo. Then pick up another size 11 and sew through the same super duo you're starting from, sewing through the bottom hole. And we have placed these two size 11 on the side. To be ready to add new beads, sew through the next two super duo beads in this way. Then again, pick up one size 11 and sew through the upper hole of the same super duo. Then sew through the size 11 on the other side, going from the top to the bottom. 
and so through the bottom hole of the super duo you were starting from. Again, before adding new beats, sew through the next two super duo beats. Pick up another size 11 and repeat the same step. Upper hole, then sew through the size 11 on the side going from the top to the bottom and then sew through the bottom hole of the super duo you were starting from. Before adding new beads, sew through the next two super duo. And now we are at the end of the round. And we already have the two sides 11 on the side of the super duo. So all we have to do is sewing through this size 11, growing from the top to the bottom, then sewing through the upper hole of the super duo, and sewing through the size 11 on the other side going from the top to the bottom. Before starting a new round, sew through the bottom hole of the super duo. Super duo you were starting from. Sew also through the size 11 and then sew through the upper hole of the next super duo. And at this point, all you have to do is repeating the same steps, alternating these two rounds until you reach the length you need for your tubular beadwork. I hope that the tutorial was clear. Thank you for watching, inspire yourself and see you soon on the next video. Bye bye!